My name is Victoria O'Brien and I'm here with Mark Hendrickson, adjunct professor of the economics and entrepreneurship departments at Grove City College. So what first sparked your interest in economics? I guess it was a two-stage thing. In college I was very concerned about the issue of poverty and I became a socialist. I later studied uh, Shakespeare at Oxford and England was very socialist at the time and that was no good. It wasn't working at all. And I hadn't found any economic theory that made sense. And then in my late 20s, when I was teaching and inflation was going up 14% a year and I was only getting a 5% uh, year raise, I decided I better study some economics. And then I found the Austrian explanation and it just clarified how the world worked, what we can do to reduce poverty, what we can do to enjoy a, a healthy, prosperous life for all of us. So I just, I, I love the economic theory that, uh, that I learned and I want to share it with others. Is there one facet of economics that you're most interested about, and if so, um, what is it and why? I would answer that differently from most economists. Mm -hmm. Most would say, well, I'm interested in money, I'm interested in trade, I'm interested in finance, I'm interested in agriculture or whatever. I'm interested in freedom. If we have freedom, people are going to prosper, they're going to live together in peace, it's going to be a good life. So it might sound simple, but I think the important reason to study economics is to understand why we need to have individual liberty and rights. So how has your faith impacted your views on economics? Well, I think as a lifelong Christian, I've always been taught to love my neighbor, to care for my fellow man. And it's very important that we have policies that, that cause human life to flourish mm -hmm. and, and to prosper. Poverty is a horrible curse, and it's too prevalent in our world. And I just feel that part of my Christian mission, if you want to call it that, is to share sound economic principles so that we don't repeat the mistakes that have been made in the past. So it's, it sounds corny, but it's caring about my fellow man. So the majority of the population today shows that there's not a huge interest in economics. What is your reasoning behind that, and what can be done to better involve the population's involvement in economics itself? I think that's unfortunately short-sighted because, like it or not, economics is absolutely central to our life. People don't, I think we take it for granted, our prosperity, our freedoms, you know, the high standard of living that we have, but it can be lost if we don't adhere to sound economic principles. And the politicians are not leading us down the right path, so it's up to us, if we want to remain free citizens, to gain an understanding of economics ourselves so we can defend ourselves against making the mistakes that have been made repeatedly throughout history, mistakes that have kept people poor.